What's up guys? Welcome to Fezzy Fitness. You can turn on the captions for subtitles. We all know when Honey Rambo decides to work with a new athlete, he really sees the potential in that one. Look how Jay returned in 2009 and shocked the entire world and Jay on record gives Honey a lot of credit for his last two Olympia victories of 2009 and 2010. The legacy of Phil Heath and Honey Rambaud winning seven Olympia titles back to back will live forever. Jeremy Bondea was a dominant champ back in his prime and now Andre is clearly becoming the next big thing and quite possibly future men's physique Olympia champ as well. One of the most exciting team up this year is Derek Lansford and Honey. Six weeks out, Derek is already looking like a tank. And frankly, this guy could easily compete in the open with the amount of muscle mass that he carries. However, there isn't a doubt in Derek's mind that he will stay in 212 for a few years. He is keeping his current weight a secret, but it's evident that in future, he might have to sacrifice some muscle to make weight. There will be no denying this physique if Derek brings a conditioning that matches Kamal and Sean because structurally he is superior than both of these champions. The only wild card here is Keon Pearson whose physique is put together so well that he can challenge all of the top guys without even reaching his weight cap. But his conditioning must improve a lot because the conditioning he brought at Chicago Pro, that same look won't land him in the top 3 at the Olympia. Also look out for this guy, Muhammad Fada from Egypt. People call him the next big thing because many bodybuilding fans from Egypt say that he has the potential to become as dominant as Big Ramy. This guy is only 27 years old and he is as focused as ever. Now keep in mind Fada hasn't competed after turning pro and Hani has been coaching him for the past 8 months. He is competing in 6 weeks and his pro debut will be interesting to watch. Sergio Oliva Jr. isn't liked by lots of bodybuilding fans because he never cares that his opinion might offend anyone. Well, Sergio is looking pretty damn good for a fact three weeks out of the Arnold Classic. This show will be a true decider of where he stands in the IFBB Pro ranks. In fact, this will be the first time we will see guys like Ian, Nick Walker go against the likes of Akeem Williams and the champ William Bonac. I know some of you guys will bring up the fact that Ian was there last year at the Olympia but this year he took the game to a whole new level. Sergio has a lot to prove to himself. Somehow this Arnold is turning out to be a one in which most competitors believe that the champ is 100% beatable. Sergio had some interesting predictions regarding the upcoming Olympia. I think Brandon's actually going to make some good improvements and I think he might take first again. I think he might take that spot again. While everyone has a firm belief that Big Ramy looks literally unbeatable after seeing his progress pictures, Sergio predicted that the former Mr. Olympia champion Brandon Curry has more to offer with his physique and he will reclaim the throne once again. With the rate of progression of his legs from the last 2 to 3 years, the same momentum will continue in 2021 and we are gonna see a much fuller version of Brendan Carey. Patrick's strategy for earning the Olympia 2021 qualification was the best because competition at Cali Pro wasn't so deep as compared to later shows during the year. Patrick has to rely on his classic lines because there are some guys who might dwarf him when it comes to size factor. But don't forget Patrick is capable of bringing insane conditioning. Going back to 2019 when he made his Olympia debut he placed 10th 
and he was one of the most conditioned guy in that show and could have placed higher. Same thing might happen this year. Some guys can come in off and Patrick can go right past them. Ending the video with Shaban, a guy who competed multiple times this year but couldn't pull off a win and qualified for the Olympia on points. This guy has everything, size, shape and with a tighter conditioning, he can really shock some people in 6 weeks. Even standing next to two of the IFBB pros, he held his own. Currently working with Charles Glass, Shaban has decided to skip the Arnold to give his body some much needed rest and peak 100% for the Olympia. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thank you.